Greetings, my fellow Bishop Slayers, Radamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Cult of the Lamb, Episode 6, Anura. The Mighty Mushroom Biome. Tempest Gauntlets. So, I hate these, but they're a combo gauntlet. You have to finish the combo, otherwise they don't hurt for very much. And the Ichor uh, Tossing. And this is the lands of Bishop Hecate. Threatening to destroy me. What else is new? To do my eyes. Pathetic, sniveling, vile puppet of the Red Crown. You have felled the youngest of us. I sure did. We are the bishops of the old faith. We protect against heresies such as yours. We are the guardians of the true word and shall not tolerate such blasphemy. Your sins are many, and for that, your loyal followers must suffer. Suffer, They shall starve. Uh, so Primus got summoned here by Hecate and is now starving. Thanks, jerk. Truly the Karenist of bishops. So now I have a quest to kill Hecate. Lovely brick flooring. Oh, so this is, um, every now and then you have a chance to get an upgraded version of a card. So instead of 10%, this is a 20%. I was going to pick it anyway, but uh, 20% chance of gaining bonus hearts sounds pretty good to me. Sometimes there, uh, in certain areas, there's just like a lot more bones. These little corpse bags right there. So if you're trying to farm bone, outside of the Silk Cradle, which is the sort of the last zone. That's probably one of the more efficient ways to get it. Oh, uh, well, I'm going to pass up the option to get a uh, follower and instead go for the wood because that's for the lighthouse. So now I have 20. That's enough to light the lighthouse. The lighthouse needed 15. And I should probably track that quest. So that's what I'm working on. Now, if I had omnipresence, I could just, like, teleport out of here. But this time around, it, it would be worth uh, killing one of Hecate's henchmen in order to make progress unlocking Hecate as a, as a boss. Weapon. See, so the Angular Weapons obviously is a weapons dealer or Clown Eye or whatever his name is. Uh, Maelstrom, Cleaver. I'm gonna go with Cleaver. I don't really like the combo gauntlets. Oh, 
much better. The, oops, he hit me anyway. The piles of poison, there's like a little wheel where you have to stand in them long enough for the wheel to hit. Uh, Vampiric Dagger, yes please. I'll start. Well, well, I'm already full health. Oh, and this is the boss room to the right. So I'm going to double back to get uh, a full clear. Bonus heart! So going to this uh, boss fight, I'm going to have a lot of temporary hearts. Snails are... the snail shells are um, collectibles for a sort of secret side quest. So if you see snails, collect the shells. I already have three. I think you only need four to complete the quest. Don't quote me on that. It's either four, four or five. Cool on. Oh, you got me good there. Pressure's off for a no-hit, so I'm just gonna... Whoa! That's weird. I got hit while I was trying to cast that. It made me cast... ...where I couldn't control the direction. Relying on those temporary hearts pretty hard there. But I knew I had them, so I wasn't all that concerned. You're coming with me! pumpkins. So we got a quarter of the progress. To heck it. Hey, bud. Would have been good for me to have a no-hit there, because I would have gotten bonus wood, but oh well. Vessel. Do you not worship me? Do you not give offerings in hope of gaining my favor? Whenever you return to your cult, you shall find a new offering chest. There you can provide offerings that I, in my generosity, shall turn to gold so that you might s strengthen the cult. But I'm not easily satisfied. The same gift offered too frequently will cause the price to be lowered. Fear not. Over time, it will grow in value once more. Give me proper tribute and you shall be rewarded. So this is a way to sell off resources that you're not using for gold. If you need gold coins. I'll show you that. And this is where, like, fishing comes in. Because you can fish, and a lot of the fish have pretty high value initially. So here's the offerings where, like, I can sell this puffer fish for, like, three gold a piece. Or sell these flowers, three gold a piece. I have 161 of them. Or rather, uh, 65 of them, whatever. Also, when you return, you want to pull the uh, faith from your totem. And because Hecate messed with Primus, Primus is currently starving, so let's get Primus some food. Some pumpkin soup. Because I really don't have any other ingredients. What do I have? 27? Okay. We have enough to repair the beds and still uh, fix the, the totem. So, uh, Divine Inspiration. Let's go with Harvest Totem. Increased growth speed of uh, farm plots. 
our numbers are swelling, so I need the the help to uh, feed them. Speaking of feeding them. What was the, uh, the benefit that you guys voted on? I didn't even see it. But we now have mushroom spore, uh, seeds. They don't, however, they're not edible, like, um, like berries, though. Alright, here's a raffle for the new one. Oh, poo and crops? Cool. Phil to notice. Congrats! You are uh, the first protector of Hecate, reformed and converted. Another question. Doctrine. We now officially have one of each. So what new doctrine do you want to take on? And you gain faith when you fall ill and you're easier to level up. Nice. <laughs> kind of running out of seeds here. Oh, okay. That's cute. Right as he, uh... His follow request was like, Hey, I'm gonna make poop everywhere. I need the fertilizer, so I guess it's fine. I gotta start a sermon soon, because, uh... It's almost nighttime. Alright, let's go over and start that up, because I'm about to run out of time. Looks like work and worship has won. You can wake them up in the middle of the night for a sermon. It's just, uh, there's a faith penalty as a result. They don't like getting woken up. As someone with a one-year-old, trust me, I don't like getting woken up either, so I'm going to avoid it when I can. Uh, upgrade. Weapon mastery. For heavy attacks. So some enemies are shielded. I haven't I uh, haven't found any shielded enemies yet, but eventually you get shielded enemies and you need heavy attacks to be able to um, unshield them. And every weapon has their own style of heavy attack. So you said work and worship? All right, so here's your two choices. We have Inspire. Instead of Bless, uh, we get an Inspiration that we can do once a day. Or, alternatively, Intimidate. Where it slightly increases their loyalty and makes them work harder for two days. Whereas this uh, significantly increases their loyalty and replaces the Bless action. So, Inspire or Intimidate. Cathanon, hey! It is that time of month. Cuteness overload? I, yeah, I like this game a lot. All right, we're going with Inspire. So this is uh, maybe more bang for your buck than Bless. You guys are having me be like one pretty kind leader here. I see the theme. I like it. I think actually going the high road is harder. So here, as you can see, I don't have access to the right side, but we've done Faithful and ins Inspiration. So to, to sum it all up, we believe in the afterlife. We are faithful and I inspire, I can bribe, I, I ascend followers, and we do believe in feasting. So here's what inspire looks like. I just hit a huge group, which is awesome. 
and two people just leveled up as a result. Uh, Primus is sick. I'm working on it, buddy. You just bed rest. All right, I need to clean up two more poop and then wait for him to recover from his illness. Another thing that I probably need to do is get a, a scarecrow out. Um, but you guys can ultimately decide upon that. The reason for it is uh, a lot of my crops that I'm harvesting don't have seeds because the birds ate them. So the birds won't um, delete your yield as far as I know. They just eat your seeds so you don't have seeds to replant. You do eventually gain access to a vendor that sells you seeds, so it becomes less of an issue when you have that vendor unlocked. But for now, it's really annoying because... I am running out of seeds to keep the farm going. I guess I'll plant some mushrooms. I mean, I have empty spots for it. Another thing that I would say you is pretty good to do is to have multiple uh, farm stations per like area because um, farmers only work so fast so I usually find that like two farmers covering the same area is more efficient anyway and I was just penalized because there's not they broke their beds as they woke up so getting shelters would be good as well Okay, looks like you want me to build improvements. Got it. Oh, and totem reward. Come on, please be wood. Almost. It's gonna give me a decoration or something. A potted bush. Huh. Almost got wood. Bob, uh, what is it? Shalom, you want to eat a meal made from a follower. Uh... Okay? So Bob is requesting that someone die and he cannibalize them. Just so that you know what you're voting on. It is possible to get minced follower meat not from killing your own followers, but I don't have any. Uh, just to throw that out there. Okay, you guys say decline, which I think is a good idea. No, had I accepted that, what I would have needed to do is to go into my temple and uh, done like a sacrifice of the flesh ritual to kill someone in order to have the follower meet or or sending. You also get some follower meat from ascending them. Um, but I would have would have had to kill someone in order to uh, to get the meat for that. Alternatively, what you could do is you could just accept the quest and let it time out if you can't get the follower meat. And there's still a faith penalty as a result of that, but, you know, oh well. Sermon's done. I got five inspired, maybe six at once. Already inspired you. That's pretty much almost, maybe almost everyone, except for Lord Gander. Bob, quit following me around. You just tried to eat one of your friends here. I'm losing some trust. I got some trust issues with you now. I could have killed the guy that wanted to uh, eat the meat. Yeah, but then I couldn't fulfill the quest because he'd be dead. That would have me fill it in just a different way. 
Oh, I also still haven't fixed the lighthouse. So that's still left to be done. Uh, I'll do that first, and then I'll start building improvements. When you feed them lower quality food, there's a very high chance that they like poop immediately. So until I start feeding them higher stuff, it's definitely to my benefit to like hang around to make sure that they don't crap up the house. <laughs> All right. Uh, it is white house time and then building improvements. Our prayers have been answered! Thank you, O Bright One, for sending this lamb to save us. Now the pilgrims will return to our shores. Restoring the light, we pledge ourselves to you. We are unworthy servants, mighty lamb. We shall pray to you. So this is like a, set, a tiny shrine where I can collect uh, divine inspiration from it periodically. My two cents, not really worth coming back here very often. Because it's you know, not worth much. But it also opens up the stores. So this gives you the uh, ability to buy new tarot cards and then also to buy new decorations. So one of the tarot cards that I'm going to buy right now is the higher yield tarot card because uh, I'm having resource problems. So this is Nature's Boon. Harvest bonus resources. You got yourself a deal. All right, and the other ones, fire projectile, I can pass on that for now. More damage during day or friendly bomb won't hit. Yeah, I don't need that. I'll keep the coin. New inspiration. Ooh. I think working towards confession booth would be good. So I'll do that next. Cheers. And Primus is well again. So we'll collect that bonus. In fact, Primus, here is... No, I'm not going to give you a nature necklace. But I should give that to someone. Because I'll get more yield. So someone that is uh, working in the lumber. Madzie, I'm going to give it to you. As Lord Gander takes over your role. Ander, go somewhere else. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, so there's the new prison. I have 11 wood. I'm going to build an outhouse. I refined uh, a bunch of wood for the outhouse. So I'll put the outhouse uh, over here. My two cents, uh, get kind of two of everything because outhouses will fill up and rather quickly at times. So it helps to have like multiple copies of stuff so that um, you don't fill up and get diseased anyway. So 
So that was my improvement that I built. What next? Oops. Sorry about the lack of privacy there. So here they're using the outhouse instead of uh, pooping in the woods. So as long as this is emptied periodically, it makes it a lot easier to keep uh, the home clean. You don't have to go looking for poo. And uh, looks like we have a new something, probably a new doctrine. Okay, uh, I am going to farm for a needed resource, but uh, I need you to vote on doctrines. So I have got two of work and worship, one of everything else. Got one afterlife, one sustenance, one possession, and one law and order, and then two of work and worship. I'm surprised that there isn't Twitch integration for this choice too. I'm, I'm, I'm polling instead, obviously, but given that, um, you know, this would be pretty easy to add to integration. All right, which doctrine? So here we go. Left is cannibal trait. All cultist members become cannibals and they gain faith when they eat meals made from followers. And right is grass eater trait. Eating grass no longer has negative um, effects so that uh, they can eat grass without penalty. You can see why I say um, in the description when I uh, talk about roleplay, I'll just paste it there, that it's really ideologically opposing options at times. And it looks like we're going with Grass Eater. Overwhelmingly. Do you like how I, I kind of hide the poll a little bit? I mean, obviously, Twitch chat, you can see everyone like spamming the twos, but still. So we'll go with Grass Eater. Get the sermon in for the day. I think I kept them up all night. Uh because it just said day 16 or whatever, which is unfortunate, but oh well. And now we have better weapons. Swanky. I need shelters. Okay, there's beds for everyone now. What? Yo! Stop lighting up my inbox! Jesus, Lord Gander! He wants to be sacrificed in a sacrifice ritual. Uh... Okay. So, you guys decide. I can either accept or decline. Um, I will spoil something a little bit for you. There is an afterlife um, doctrine that allows you to resurrect dead followers. So for those that have been sacrificed, you can bring them back. So for trying to be benevolent, it is not right now. It's not possible because I don't have the sacrifice ritual. But eventually, I will. Un or I don't have the resurrection ritual, and you guys might not even vote for it anyway. But it is possible to, to resurrect people. I just figured, you know, that might be helpful for you to know. So, Lord Gander, I don't know how you yourself have voted in this. I don't know if you did, but it seems like chat wants you to die. Uh, before we fulfill his request, I'm gonna need a place to put him. So that would be a body pit. I'll put you, I'll bury you out front. Or out front. Uh, yeah, I guess out front. Usually it's out back. Oh. 
So now we have a place to bury someone. What's unfortunate is Lorgander happens to be the one with the uh, the speed necklace on, but you know, it's what he wanted. What you guys wanted, I suppose. All right. Also, I, I know I clicked on it really fast, but there's a little indicator on the rituals indicating that, um, well, it's this symbol here, indicating that this specific individual is the one that wishes for it. So another thing to note is in sacrificing him, I gain a whole lot of sermon benefit here, so I almost get another unlock for another weapon. If I sacrifice Iscadia, who's higher level, or Primus, who's higher level, I would gain the full. So this is, this is an indicator of like how valuable they are. So new people are, are worth less than uh, higher level people. All right, Gander. It's good for the good for the lamb. It's good for the Gander. All right. Okay. Well. Uh, collect the reward from someone else. You guys waving at me? Usually when they do that, it means they have a quest. But I don't. I think they were just saying hi. All right, you guys wanted me to farm for a needed resource, so farm for wood. That is what I'm going after. So I already have two lumberjacks going full time. I could get a third. It might be a little overkill. And over here, we can buy people now. Hello. Yes, I can smell tasty critters near. Hmm. It says here, there's enough for you and enough for me. Don't let your followers wander away. You never know who might be nearby and hungry. Eh, let's buy him. You look happy, but wait. I guess it's better than being eaten by hell up. <laughs> oh, and over here is seats. Rakshasa. So we can spend our gold to buy seeds for the se for the plants that we've found so far. So, like berry seeds, flower seeds, pumpkin seeds, so on and so forth. Thank you for tuning in to Call to the Lamb, which originally streamed live on Twitch as a marathon July 15th. If you have any questions for me, please let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord, a link can be found in the description of this video or at Rodamont.com as well. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel, and everybody that turned out to the streaming marathon. Hope to catch a next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow cultists, 